It's Positively Muskegon, brought to you by Joe Bush for Judge, Andy O'Reilly, and if you take a look out behind me here, it's one of our best assets in Muskegon. That is Muskegon Lake, and this is the view you're going to get if you come down to the Michigan Irish Music Festival, which gets underway this week, and the one responsible. Oh, no, 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 right not there. me. We, we've got a great team. <laughs> we've got a great team working on this event. Now, do you, it's Chris Zart. Now, do you go back to McCarthy for this weekend, or do you stay Chris Zark? No, 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 no. My, McCar McCarthy is my maiden name, yep. so... Um, <laughs> I thought maybe for the weekend. No, you... people often ask me, you know, Zart, that's German. What are you doing involved with the Irish Fest? But um, I was a McCarthy first. Yeah. So, yeah. Talk about the Irish Fest. How many years is this now? This will be our 17th festival. Really? So we're um, we're still we're still a teenager, Yeah. but we're, we're nearing the uh, adult... Adult, adulthood <laughs> pretty soon it started small talk, we did we talk did about the first couple years we did we started out very small and one of the things that our board of directors focuses on every year is managed growth yeah and so we don't try to you know shoot the moon we try to take it in baby steps and make sure that whatever we do whatever we add however we expand that we can effectively deliver a great product to our patrons and so I think that that's one of the things that has proven our success over the years yeah. but we did start out very small when we first started we had a, a pub tent yep. and in the pub tent you found music food um and a lot of fun yeah and then we had vendors and we used the paul c johnson stage for another performance stage and that was about the extent of it it was on the main side as we refer to it as the cork side yep. of heritage landing as the time has gone on, we realized that we needed to take the food vendors out of the pub because we needed more room for more bodies. Yep. So we created a Celtic kitchen. We decided that our vendors needed to be protected from the elements and so we put them under a tent and, and labeled it the Irish market. And then in 2008, we had 40 hours of rain. Yeah. And. Um, we continued on. Yep. We, we we stuck it out and we made it through the weekend and the sun came out at 6 30 on that Sunday. Is a stubborn Irish thing no, or is that just a festival? We just perseverance. We knew we could do it. <laughs> and so at that point in time, we were still using the Paul C. Johnson permanent stage as a performance stage. And after that, 08 into 09, that's when we went to the tent structure, which which people now experience at Irish Fest. So we do utilize the the venue totally different than any other festival or group that comes down here, which I think adds to the uniqueness of the event. People feel like they have to explore the landing and find out what's where and what's new and whatnot. So after 09, and we went to the tent structure, everything that we've done and added has all been on what we refer to as the carry side which is the other side of the landing, the westerly side. Yep. And so now we have a full stage over there. Um, so we've got three big performance stages. We have the Galway stage that features dance as well as music. We have the Blarney stage, which also features um, cultural programs. And you might see a little bit of music there, but not a music performance. There might be someone doing a cultural program that's playing a guitar as part of the program. Okay. So we have five stages. Um, we also have two, we added another shopping area. Really? And so we've got two opportunities for people to shop and buy outstanding goods from Ireland. Um, of course, our whiskey snug, which has been very popular. And this year we added, we're adding something called the tavern, which okay. is new. And that is on the ven on the side of the venue, um, on the carry side, so closer to the Lakeshore Fitness Center or okay. the old YMCA, yeah, as people yeah, yeah. know that. And so you'll find um, local Michigan craft beers there. Wow, go figure. So, yeah, craft beers yeah, in Michigan? Right. We no got doubt. a couple of those? We got a couple of those. <laughs> Did you ever imagine that this would turn into what it has? You know, um, it's, there, it's... There's a mindset, and there's, yeah, I'd like to see this someday, but right. this is massive. Right, yeah, and you know, we can, again, it goes back to our our whole premise of managed growth and making certain that whatever it is we add, we don't add too much too quick because we need to be able to handle it. We yeah. need to be able to staff it with volunteers. We need to be able to financially cover it because if we're going to add a stage or add another area, we have to have tents, we have to have more security, we have to have more fence, electricity, whatever it is we've got to do, yeah. we got to make sure that we can financially cover that. Everything, every time we spend money on something, it is less money that we're able to give back to the community. That being said, um, last year alone, just last year, we gave over thirty-seven thousand dollars in cash to the local no food kidding. pantries. So, 
that's 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 another thing that drives our our board yeah is the ability to give back to our yeah. community and yeah. we're all volunteer it's a hundred percent volunteer yeah. operation so what drives you what makes you want to do this year in and year out you know um for me all, anything, any of the community service that I've ever been involved well, and, and in. Let me, let me just say, and I know you're going to kind of, you know, go, oh, not me, but there are movers and shakers in town, and then there's you. Well, I mean, you really dig into a lot of stuff. Well, you know, as as years have gone on, and I have continued to look at my driver's license, and there's more years there, <laughs> um, I I do become more selective in the things that I do. Yeah. But I have been involved in a lot of things over the years, um, and that for me is what always has flipped my switch is to be able to do something for my community yeah regardless if it was the michigan irish music festival or old newsies goodfellows or student showcase or many of the other celebration many of the other things that i've been involved in it's a long list it's a big resume yeah but it you know it it really kind of flips my switch it to see people happy and having a good time and for people to say oh my gosh we had such a great time yeah Um, one of the things that we often hear at the festival is I've never been here before. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, ex- people are often expecting Danny Boy and When Irish Eyes Are Smiling, and you're you're not going to ever hear that <laughs> at, at the festival. They don't expect to come in and see a rock band. Yeah. Um, and then they also are always amazed at the quality of the musicianship. We have world class musicians that are here, and they are. Our patrons are continued to be blown away by yeah. their ability. Talk about your draw. Where do they come from? Um, our patrons or our yeah, our, our patrons. Mus- oh, musicians. We kind of get the idea where they're coming. Right. From. Well, patrons come from all over. We yeah. obviously have a big attendance from the Muskegon area, Greater yeah. Muskegon area. But last year we had we were represented in 95 cities from the state of Michigan alone. No kidding. Um, we draw people in for probably about 10 or 12 states that come in we do surveying every year so we kind of track that and know where people are coming from but they come from all over yeah. and they'll travel for it this this isn't like a um a festival that's playing maybe classic rock yeah. music that you might be able to find every weekend yeah. it's very specific and you can't find it very often right but when you find it and you love it then you'll travel for it yep. so um, I got a message today from somebody who's coming from Fort Worth Texas no driving in to to come to the festival so that has never been here before and isn't it great to see people that have come here sure don't have any preconceived notions of what Muskegon is and you know, and then they love it and then they love it and in our patron our, our patrons but also our musicians they can't believe our venue yeah. we've got a great venue being here on the lake and they love Playing here um, this year, we've got oh, I think 23, 24 bands maybe, and um, I want to say 11 of them are out of country. Nice. I think eight that have never been with us before. Best of the best. So, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, and the musicians that come, especially from um, Ireland and Nova Scotia they hear about us from their friends yeah. who are musicians and then they want to come and once they come they want to come back they're, they're <laughs> often asking us while they're still here are, are we coming back next yeah, year next year yeah. so sign us up so give us get, pick three highlights that people don't want to miss this weekend well probably one of our signature events is the chinol which is on thursday on saturday afternoon from 3 to 4 30 in the county gnl county cork stage and it is sponsored by Magners, and it is a, um, a group for 90 minutes where two musicians from this band will play with two musicians from that band. This band will play with a band they've never heard of before. We have, wow. a, mus- we have a music director that, from Dublin, Ireland that works with all of that, and he plots all of that out. And so it's kind of a really cool experience. Jam session. It's I a think. jam session that totally looks... Um, well thought out and well rehearsed from the patron side but backstage it's a little uh it's a little <laughs> scary as we're trying to make sure that somebody's off stage on another stage to make it in time to play sure. uh, at the channel so that's a great opportunity to see all of the musicians um, in some form and then you can check them out later on the, the rest of the weekend so okay. that's something not to be missed another thing that probably is is uh, a big draw is what's happening in our newly formed area called the dingle peninsula okay. which is right inside 
when you walk into Heritage Landing just behind the permanent ticket booth. On Saturday, you can see the Highland Games there all day. Fun. And on Sunday, we have the Celtic Canines, which we've never had them before. And the Celtic Canines are the eight, there's eight breeds of dogs that are native to Ireland. Like a wolfhound. Like an Irish wolfhound, Irish setter. We have all eight breeds that no are being kidding. represented. So we're really excited about that. And that's Sunday, noon to four. Okay. Um, so th that's the second thing that I would say would be the most sought after item. And then probably the next would be um, shopping or food, you know, okay. so things that you could eat or buy. Yeah, I remember all those years you come into the radio station at like six o'clock with corned beef sandwiches. Sure, you know, absolutely. Like, yes, absolutely. It's Chris's day. Where's absolutely. mine today? Absolutely. Yeah, they're not here yet. Oh, okay. They're still cooking. I gotta come back? You gotta come back. Oh, man. So, but there's lots of, <laughs> lots of great stuff and lots of um, things for kids, yep. tons of free kids activities, um, everything from, you know, riding Sandy the Pony that you see at Meyer. Yep. Meyer is our kids sponsor, so you could ride Sandy for free or kids crafts. But then also all of the other opportunities with all of the music, with the yeah. five stages going all the time. For, we open Thursday night. Yep. Um, in the pub only, so it's kind of an abbreviated Muskegon kind come on of. Down, come on down. Yeah, dip five your toe bucks. In the water, five bucks to get in. Okay. Yeah. Throw your hat in the ring. See if you can. See if you uh, are going to like hang. it. Yeah, you will. And then you're going to come back and buy the ticket for the rest of the week. What is a ticket? So Friday, Thursday is five bucks at the gate. Yep, yep. You can't buy that in advance. You can buy a weekend pass right now online for thirty dollars. That's nothing. And that'll get you all four days. Yep. Um, if you walk up, it's forty bucks. Still. So if you buy a single Friday right now online, it's ten. A single Saturday is. 15 and a single Sunday is 10. All three of those days go up by five dollars at the gate. Fair enough. Good price. But great opportunity and you know we couldn't do offer such low prices if it weren't for our sponsors. Yeah. We're, we're tremendously thrilled that Mercy Health is again our presenting sponsor. They've been with us for um, about 14 years. Is that right? And so we're thrilled that they're back, but also our other major sponsors are Waddell and Reed, Budweiser, GNL, and um, Family Financial Credit Union. Sure. So Friday night, you know, from five to six, you can come in free thanks, to, really? fam thanks to Family Financial Credit Union. Okay. We, we usually have about 6,000 of your closest friends in the first 60 minutes. <laughs> Muskegon's favorite four That's letter right. word, free. <laughs> Absolutely. Free and beer, right? That's right. <laughs> so. All the details will be here on Positively Muskegon. If you need tickets, it's linked. If you want more information, you want the website, you want the map, it's all right here. Is there anything you want to leave us with? Well, you know, I would tell people to, if they're not already following us on social media platforms, on yeah. our Facebook Facebook, or, or checking out our website, to do that because we have a lot of interactive opportunities with Facebook where you can win tickets and find out news about new things that are happening or what's happening right now at the sure. festival so check us out there and seriously if you haven't been before make 2016 the year to come down and check us out Perfect. and i guarantee if somebody comes down and doesn't have a good time they come down don't have a good time have somebody page me i'll give them their money back we'll throw them in the lake <laughs> no 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 we'll give them their money back but I, i'll throw them in the lake I, you give them their money back. I, i've made that offer for years and i've never had anybody Not say i yet. didn't have a good time so. always good to see you chris yeah, you too thanks a lot andy michigan irish music festival this weekend make sure you're down at heritage landing great things going on in muskegon all the time chris thanks again thanks a lot andy